going into the president's office when Reagan was president and he had a problem and he was trying to explain but it was his problem mm -hmm. you know it, it was his job oh, it wasn't yeah. the president's job he's just letting it out you know he's in there he's in the president's office talking to him and he looks up and he says the president was looking right straight past me he wasn't even looking at me at all and <laughs> looking out the window and he went through this whole thing that he was concerned about thinking the president or was, listening. was listening and he wasn't listening at all he was looking out the window and he and, and a little bit he said Colin, the squirrels they took the nuts I put out there this morning the nuts that I put out there in the yard this morning. Yeah. <laughs> Wasn't listening to him at all. And he, the story he related was the president wanted him to talk to him about something that was his job. Something I can do about. I can do something about it. Don't tell me your problems. This is your job. Don't relate your problems to me. I got problems of my own. <laughs> you know. Don't, don't, so he wasn't. Don't, he wasn't. We all. Well, yeah. Why am I listening to, to you? This is your problem. Go do your job. What are you doing in here? <laughs> <laughs> but he. Yeah, I mean, it's just stories like that, that remind you of. Well, yeah. And then he talk. He talks about. You know, having being uh, a real high up, high ranking military guy, you have to have people under you that you trust. Not just because they're a good old boy. If they can't do their job, they're out of here. We're, we're not here to play patty cake. Right. We're here to get something done. Right. So you have to. You have to realize that. Employees. Yes, you have to realize that. You have to be able to know somebody <coughs> that's just shooting off their mouth and somebody that's really going to be a good employee right. and get the job done and be right. you have loyal to, have... to you. I mean, you know. 